Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Rising of the Shield Hero season two episode number seven reaction. Right, previous episode it was the end of the uh, I think the Spirit Tortoise arc. I think that was what it was called, and uh, I think it is the end. I'm not sure because it did seem like it like you know the, that whole section has ended. You know, um, it was like the final battle with Kyo and. Um, Rishia was also there, everyone was there. Rishi and Kyo was the main portion of the previous episode where everyone else was like, you know, under the effect of gravity. But because of Rishia's, I think his, uh, her like, you know, ability, she was able to withstand that and fight against um, <clears throat> Kyo. Now, Kyo is a character in the previous episode who we saw that he he basically had like a different target. He He had no... Like, you know, business with the spirit daughters. He came here just because he wanted those souls. And he kept everyone distracted with all other stuff while he did his own job. And by the end, he gets what he wants. He just leaves. And like you know, within that time period, a lot of things happened. First of all, Rishia showed us so much potential. And we got get to see how the heroes basically, again, made more uh, like you know work for us by getting captured uh, another thing that happened was Naofumi was given the option to use his rage shield and you know like take um, Ost's life that's how like you know they could easily defeat the spirit tortoise but he decided not to do that and by showing compassion to his enemy you know uh, Ost was able to like you know put in a new feature in the shield and unlocked a new ability that is the spirit tortoise shield and uh, that was uh, like you know since he did not use his rage shield that's why it was able to be unlocked so using that he uh, like you know defeated uh, the spirit tortoise destroyed his heart and Ost also like you know died after that and uh, yeah that was what happened there well, a lot of things happened another thing uh, we got to see there is because the spirit tortoise of the spirit tortoise power addition to the shield now now for me can go to the other world which any other hero won't be able to do i think because there was like a little restriction there which was where it was written that you cannot go to like you know like um what's his name lark's world but after ost kind of uh like, you know did something to the shield or something happened while we got like a temporary permission to go there so that's all because of Ost and the spirit tortoise most probably that the restriction were lifted so all the people who went there Risha, Naofumi, uh, Philo, um, Raftalia other than them no one else will be able to get in I guess like these are the only people who will be able to get in and go to that world and try to find Kyo and uh, you know act like you know, bring him to justice so yeah anyways let's see what happens today's episode will be really good i think you know it's a new world we're going to i'm really excited let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here Think it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three two one go is this a new world what the who is this Oh, is this a, an inhabitant of this world, I think? Is that a fishing pole? Is she like a fishing hero or something? <laughs> I don't know, that'll be kind of funny. Yo! Why are we behind bars? What the hell happened? Yeah. What the? Okay. What is that? Oh my god, because it's a new word. Oh god, what? Oh no. Wow. Uh, 
Oh Lord. Oh wait. Oh, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> the little apple. <laughs> because she's level one, you know. She doesn't even realize. Makes so much sense, you know. Because, you know, her level is tied with her growth. But the question here is why are we behind bars? And where is Philo? Oh no! I realized Philo is probably back to an egg. Uh, wait, is this a different. I think this. Yeah, the. the the words are different. The second part of the song, I think. Okay, I might be wrong, but I'm guessing... Like, is that even possible? Can Philo, like, turn back into an egg? Like, it won't surprise me. Oh, this girl, we saw. Oh, so these characters might be characters from this world. All right, let's see. If Philo has turned into an egg, that will be bad. Yeah, it's open. What the hell? Ayo, Raftalia. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, obviously, it's too heavy. Yeah, she's so different, you, you can see. Like, which shows the mental growth she had. <laughs> I cannot. She's so small. Yeah. Yeah. Hm. She needs to get a different sword. That's a heavy sword. What? Okay. Why would... Yeah. Yeah. We still don't know where Philo is. <laughs> oh God. All right, let's see. Oh, like what the, what? Yeah, obviously, like. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Well, time to... Oh my god, that looks scary. Like... Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't, I don't know, I feel like she's probably a little bird. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, hello? Wait! Oh my god! What the? Oh, it's like that! The, the ba balloon thing! Like level 1! Monsters! So this was that balloon version thing is this! Oh my god, this is... This is cool! And his shield will have different abilities now. Wow. Oh my god, this is a really cool yeah, concept. So basically she'll have a new set of skills in this world. And in the, in, in the other world, he'll have a different set of skills. Or maybe he'll be able to keep these skills when he goes back. Who knows? Okay, these versions are just the same thing of that world. But... Yeah, it's different. Alright, let's feed it to the sh shield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what are those? Some kind of fish? Oh no, that's definitely not a fish. What is that? A kappa? Oh my god, that's an ugly looking kappa. Ah. Oh my god, this is stronger. Okay, now for me, your shield. Ah. Oh my god, this thing is strong. Oh, uh, okay. Ah! Nice. Oh no! Where, where is Rishia? Where did she go? Okay, this thing is strong. Probably level 10 or something. I, I, I think that girl will come and save us? Yeah. Oh! Wait, so... Oh my god. So she uses her fishing pole. She's a fishing pole hero or something? Kizuna. Kazayama Kizuna. Hunting hero. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a fishing pole. That's not a fishing pole. No, that is a fishing pole. Yeah, from a different world. Wait, what? How did she? Oh, wait, she's... Oh, okay, yeah, she's a cardinal hero, obviously. Oh my god, what's happening? Level's not high enough to use this item. Oh. Okay, so... Wait, what was her name? I forgot. <laughs> we had another one with us, but she's lost. I got locked up. Oh, in this uh, island? Yeah. What? Yeah? So why is she even summoned? Okay, so what reason? 
Yeah, Lark and Glass knew about that, so what? they're from the same world. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so she knows them. Oh really? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Kizuna, that's her name. Yeah, I forgot. She's 18. Okay. I guess she's an anime character, that's why. Ah! She's not a hat, she's 18. 18. What the hell now for me? <laughs> because she treated your wounds yeah <laughs> now for me it's trauma <laughs> well ah wait what the what happened What? Wait. Nothing happened? The, wait, so is it only for monsters? Oh, so since, since he's, she's a hunting hero, she can only hunt more. Okay. Well, you can poison us. That's another way. <laughs> oh, okay, now we knew about it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, that... Uh, that's an... <laughs> Oh, chopsticks for the first time, I think. <laughs> oh my god, where is... Uh, I feel bad. I feel bad, where is Philo? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what tail? <laughs> tail. Wait, we're not your chef. We have a goal here. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. Wow. That's why she was saying that I was kept in here. Okay. Wait, so maybe Glass also doesn't know that she's here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, she's a lot older, I guess. Even older than 18, I guess. Yeah. Sure. So who? Oh, they got new armor.
Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, what is this place? Okay. I wonder what level she is. What's it? Like a church or something. Yeah. It's like boarded up. Who boarded it up? I think she boarded it up. Door that connects the prison to the island. Oh, whoa. Okay. Maybe not from this. Oh. Wow, okay. So this is basically like the end of a world, like in video games. Okay. The bug, yeah, for kind of gonna exception. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, what do we do? I open. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. All right. So what are we trying to do? Break this whole church or something? Yeah, we're trying to blow it up. All right, that's interesting. Come on, come on, we yo. Okay, there you go. No, no, wait. She didn't get. Okay. All right, so are we out? That means hmm. oh, that's why I was killing it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay, where is this place? Is this the, the actual world? Okay, yeah, yeah this is their world, that means. Hmm. Okay, there you go. This is the world. 
so that was a little temporal prison or something so what about the levels are they still in level one ah! <laughs> Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Wait, where's Philo? Oh my God. I forgot about her completely. Uh, maybe, maybe she was not in that world. Maybe she's in this world. Like she's the one who got summoned here okay this started in a very interesting way I'm, I'm quite interested I wonder if the levels went back or is it still I don't know Okay, that's it. Yeah. All right, this started in a quite an interesting way. Um, like obviously this is kind of like you know the whole uh, Shield Hero is like a video game setting. So I I really liked it when we kind of saw that it, it was kind of scary at the same time that oh level one again. But it was kind of interesting when the whole thing kind of came into light. So basically what happened? Let's talk about this one after the other. First, we uh, wake up in a prison. Now, the prison was open, you know, like there was no, like, you know, like no guards, nothing, no lock. You know, everything was unlocked. And uh, we see that everyone is level one again. Now, Fumi looks at his shield and he's like, what the hell is this? And then she <laughs> realizes this is the level one shield. And, uh, <clears throat> okay. So Risha is also level one. It's all like you know, like everyone's levels gone. Um, uh, what's her name? Um, Raftalia. She's level one again, and she's become the small Raftalia. So <clears throat> this it started in that way. Now here, I kind of thought like, what happened to Philo? Like I, I kind of thought maybe she became like at first I was like, wait, did she like become an egg or something? <laughs> but I don't think she if she was summoned here. I doubt she would have become an egg. I think she would probably have become, you know, the, the original um, philolial form, you know, the little philolial who we remember, like, you know, now for me kind of, you know, like taking care of, you know, when, when Philo first hatched, she, she was this little, you know, in the philolial form. I think she would have probably gone back to that stage if she was summoned here. But from the looks of it, by the end, we don't see Philo. So I'm guessing she was not summoned over here. If she was actually summoned here and we did not find her, that would be a messy situation. Like it would mean that we came out of this world and we just didn't get Philo. I doubt something like that happened. I don't think so because Navumi did check, you know. He did check his surroundings using his shield trying to find Philo and she wasn't able to find her. So Philo was probably not like summoned in this temporal prison like you know this time loop prison or whatever you call what did he call it she called it i think like a temporal prison or something so all right now <clears throat> we come out of the prison the cell and there's no guards nothing and <laughs> raftal is having a little bit of problem with his sword and you know what i thought i thought like you know this this would be, be become like you know again level up 
and uh, i don't know if that's going to happen uh because we did break out of this temporal zone so i do wonder what was going to happen from the next episode will nafumi get her get his level back or will he not so they go out of the prison and obviously raftali is struggling with her sword just falling down it's a huge sword and um, yeah we are out of the prison this uh sea beach there's water there is a forest behind them and there's no wind it's a weird place so <clears throat> it does it, it did look like a you know like a um what do you call it? like a crafted place for example like you know in video games you remember when you look at like you know like the horizon like you know the like you know the video games which were i, I remember like you know there were a few video games where the world ended it kind of looked like this you know where there was like like nothing like like everything was colored and then suddenly from one point onwards it started became becoming white and uh, it was like like an imaginary wall started appearing and we could not go beyond that wall but in front of us we can see there's nothing like that type of a scene and uh, it did look like that you know the, because the horizon was kind of sparkling it was weird and uh, yeah it did look like it was like a place crafted artificially so <clears throat> Alright, so now they're like, what the hell are we supposed to do from here? We are stuck. We cannot go like, you know, it's suicide to you know, try to get to the water because we doubt we could find anything, here, uh, you know, on the, on the horizon. So they're like, alright, let's go to the forest. They move towards the forest. They're walking and in comes a cardboard box enemy. Now, this is where I was like, wow, this is quite cool. You know what I thought? I thought since they were transported in this world, their levels and everything reset and they will again have to little by little you know, build up their levels, get those raw materials in the shield and they're going to get new abilities and you know like how just like how Naofumi uh, leveled up and gained all his abilities by diff killing different monsters, fighting, leveling up and you know um, I thought they will have to do a similar thing here because this looked like a video game thing, you know, like you get to another world, your like, you know, skills are resetted, you have to get back more skills and the set of skills that are going to, you are going to use here will be completely new. And then I was thinking like, what's going to happen if we go back to our world? Like, are the skills that we are going to gain in this world, will these be like a separate thing? Like, you know, like, I've seen video games like this, you know, like you go from one section to another, you know, you go from one, uh, go to one section, you have like a new set of skills and then you go to, it's like, like, you know, from one world to another, it's like a new character. You know, you, you build a new character with a completely new set of skills and you can switch the different characters. I thought it was something like that. Now for me was in that world, he had one set of skills, one set of things. And since he came here, those skills will be preserved over there. Here, you will have to gain new skills, make a new skill set and everything. And this will be exclusive. These set of skills will be exclusive for this world. So I was thinking, what's going to happen? If he goes back to his original world, will he get the option? Like, you know, not option, but will his skill set again get swapped? Or will he be able to keep all these new skills if when he goes back to his original world? I was like thinking all of this, you know, like, obviously, I'm like, you know, I'm, I, I play video games and <laughs> yeah, these type of things. Like, you know, I, I, I think a bit too much about them. <laughs> so I was continuously thinking what's going to happen. Is, is this like some new set of skills which he'll, he'll be able to keep or something. But by the end, you know, I think, like, you know, what I think is going to happen is he will be able to keep these skills. Because as far as we know, Yo was the reason why this uh, like, you know, level got reset. So I'm wondering if... Like, you know, obviously, now Fumi is going to gain a new more skills over here. If they go back to their original world, obviously, their Kyo's, like, you know, like, thing, like, the, the thing that Kyo did here by resetting his Nafumi skill, that won't work. So, I'm wondering if we go back to original world, we will probably be able to keep these skills. Or, I don't know, like, you know, this is just a guess at this point. Time will tell. 
Okay, so the, the defeat the cardboard box, then we get to see like a little bunny thing, which again is a low level thing, like you know, like monster. And Rastalia tried to attack it, but big sword, nothing you can do about it. She's just tripping, <laughs> unable to fight properly. Um, so yeah, you know, everything was going well. Suddenly, a kappa comes in, and I've seen a lot of kappas. This definitely did not look like a, a kappa. You know, like I've seen, like most kappas have like this round thing in their head. I remember, like a little sunflower thing. <laughs> Looks like a sunflower, you know. And uh, you know, they have like a like a beak type of thing. Here, this kappa was a monster. Like you know, it, it it was like a monster. Like it, its face reminded me of a kappa. You know, it had webbed feet and everything, but it had hair. So this is like a weird kappa. So. Obviously, like, you know, this thing comes up and tries to attack us. And uh, this one's strong. Rastalia cannot do anything. They're hitting it. It's, it's just not flinching. Nothing's happening. Um, uh, Risha tries to hit it. Nothing's happening. And uh, obviously, now for me being the main tanker of this uh, party, he's trying to keep it at bay. Like, and it's like scratching him and everything. It's not working out properly. It, it was a messy situation. And, uh, and most probably it was because this kappa probably was like level 10 or level 20, something like that, over leveled. And uh, now for me at this point, now for me and his crew, uh, team members, they were like all level one. So imagine like, you know, confronting a level 10 uh, monster with a level one character. That's going to mess you up. <laughs> they cannot do anything, but in comes, um, again, forgot her name. What's her name? What's her name? Kizuna. Okay, Kizuna. Kazayama Kizuna. Kizuna comes in and uses her wire to destroy the kappa. Now, here I was thinking, what type of a hero can she be? She has a fishing pole. I was like, oh, maybe fishing hero. <laughs> Turns out, I guess, like, fishing also falls under hunting, if you think about it like that. So, I guess it's something like that. She's the hunting hero. Now, um, so this girl, she, since she's one of the cardinal heroes, she's also um, a person from the other world. She says, oh, are you Japanese? She asks Naofumi her name. And she's like, oh, are you Japanese? And uh, Naofumi's like, yeah. Like, now here I was like, Okay, so I'm guessing Kizuna is also like a part of like, you know, like a person from Japan or knows about Japan from another world. Like you remember Ren, Itsuki and uh, you know, like uh, all of them, they came from a version of Japan, which is different from Naofumi's version. Like in, in season one, we remember them talking about the president and everyone, you know, how their history is so different, how in their world different things happened. So they're all like parallel world Japans. Now, since this girl, Kizuna, she also knows about, like, you know, Japan, either she is from Japan of a different world, or she's from some other country and knows about Japan. My guess would be she's from Japan of another different world because her name is Kizuna. You no, know, that's a Japanese name, you know, Kazayama Kizuna. It's a Japanese name. So I'm pretty sure she is also from Japan, but just like Itsuki Ren, she is from also another parallel world Japan. It's funny to see that <laughs> like all the heroes having, are being summoned from Japan and like you know what i guess lark maybe lark is not from japan where can you know, his his name lark his name doesn't sound japanese so who knows where from he is maybe he's from a different country or something like therese uh therese glass i i don't think glass is i guess is that is is that even her real name glass i don't know so all these heroes, yeah, like they're, they're probably from, from either from different countries or maybe Japan in itself. But the thing is, they are also from parallel worlds, different worlds. 
so they you know like she, she's like all right come with me you know and they go to that like the little prison thing and um she asks starts asking nafumi questions she talks about how nafumi is lucky to have companions like um uh rishia and uh, raftalia and how she's like oh i i was locked up here for a long time and uh yeah like you know i've not seen my friends now the curious thing here is she says that you know, she has no idea about waves so this thing is kind of weird if you think about it she knows nothing about waves and from like you know like from her like you know, talking about everything we know that she's from the same world of glass and lark so lark and glass they know about the waves she doesn't know about the waves that means i think she was like you know kind of uh present here imprisoned here from i don't know from probably a very long time because as far as our experience goes as soon as we were, like you know like um naofumi was summoned in front of the king he was told that oh this is happening waves are happening you have to save the world like you know as soon as they got summoned so i would think the same thing happened to lark glass uh you know like kizuna as well you know they were also summoned and they were also told about the situation about the waves so the curious thing here about this is why does lark glass and therese knows about the wave but she doesn't like shouldn't she also be informed about it so that would mean i think like if i had to think about it that way she was imprisoned here before she was given the information that waves exist this place is like you know our world is in danger you have to save the world we like you know even before this information was given to her she had been like you know captured either yeah that's 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 the most likely answer here so why would she not get the information then she knows about lark she knows about glass she talks about how glass is her uh, best friend she calls lark lark nisan i think so that means i'm pretty sure they are very well acquainted with each other then why do she, does she not know about the waves but lark and therese all of them knows this is a very curious thing i'm thinking about it now that i'm like you know i'm kind of like you know thinking about the situation it's kind of coming into my head that they're they're good friends that means i'm pretty sure they spent quite a few times together you know otherwise how would they become so good friends so why do does she not know about the waves that would mean i guess um lark therese glass they also probably did not know about the waves they were probably late in knowing about the waves after they were summoned here you know and like you know they they did not know about any waves and and all that stuff Chizuna got cap captured or even imprisoned here and after that glass lark therese they got to know about the waves how their world is in trouble and they need to save the world so i'm guessing that's what happened that's how it went otherwise it wouldn't make any sense like you know why she doesn't know about it but why her friends knows about it 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 probably went in this direction or maybe something else happened at this point i'm just guessing so who knows now from the looks of it another guess i would have to i would i would make here like to make here it seems like kyo was the one who put raftalian alfumi and um uh, rishia in this place and stripped them off of all their like you know level and their things so like that's what nafumi said i don't know so would that mean that um kizuna was also sent here by kyo who knows like i'm, I'm just making guesses at this point I'll, I'll just wait for them to answer my questions all right now he she talks about like you know how glass is her best friend and um, all that he's like and laughing is like how old are you he's like i'm 18. laughing says <laughs> lolly hag or lolly baba she was going to he was just going to say that i i i don't think she like you know she can't be called a hack she, she's 18 like how can an 18 year old be called a hack i guess um but i guess that's like the whole character archetype you know of a person who is older but looks like a child like they call them a lo lolly hag i guess like a lolly baba as they say so i guess that's like a character archetype or whatever <laughs> but obviously like you know she she she's just 
You just look young. That's just it. <laughs> An interesting thing here is Kizuna also knows about that term, lolly hag. That would mean, yeah, she's also from Japan. <laughs> and yeah, probably something like that. I don't know. Okay, so now interesting thing here. Um Okay, where is that part? Okay, first of all, uh, Nafumi doesn't trust her first. Uh obviously because, you know, like Nafumi has her has his own trauma. You remember what happened in season 1? Yeah, obviously that's why Nafumi doesn't trust her. <laughs> oh god. So, she like attacked him and showed him that her attacks won't work on people. So I'm guessing it only works on monsters. She is since she is like a hunting hero. That's probably why. And she's like, there you go. Like I cannot hurt you. So yeah, we can have some food now. And <laughs> I was just saying at that moment, you know, like, all right, what if you can't hurt her, him, them directly? You can poison them. Like that's a like, you know probable way of doing this. <laughs> uh, that was kind of you know. And Nafum is like, no, I'm not going to let you cut it. And he, she's like, I'm not going to poison you. Just what I was thinking at that moment. <laughs> and Afum is like, no, not because of that. Because I'm better at cooking than you. And, you know, like, he, he then made some delicious food. And uh, there you go. Now, uh, Raftale was still hungry because she's a growing little raccoon, you know. So, <laughs> she needs more food. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. All right now i think from the the kind of the conversation kizuna doesn't realize that nafumi rishia and raftalia were actually people who are like you know a lot higher level but since coming here their level has been dropped because she talks to raftalia she says like oh you're still little you're still growing that's how she talks with raftalia and you know kind of pets her and everything like a little child that 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 kind of shows she has no clue that the levels were stripped off so yeah I'm, I'm kind of curious as to how she'll react when she realizes that you know, these characters are actually very strong their levels have been taken off of them that's why they look like this and uh, <laughs> yeah anyways um okay now the big question here is nafum is like all right let's get out of here and uh, uh what's her name kizuna's like it's impossible to leave here once you're inside, you can never live. Okay, now, Nafum is like, how long have you been here? No idea. I used to count for the first few years, but then I stopped. Okay, so here's another interesting thing here. She says that she's 18 years old. That means she, she said that I counted for the first few years. Um, I would guess, like you know, this is like a, like a like a guess. I'm guessing she probably counted up to three, four, maximum five years. She counted, you know, and uh, that means no, not five years. I wouldn't say five years. Let's say like she counted up until two years. You know, she came here, she was sent here, she counted up to two years and then stopped counting. So she says her age is 18. That means when she was summoned here in this world, her age was probably um 16 something like that so 16 or 15 she, she, she spent some time in the original world probably one year because she has very like you know like she's good friends with glass so i'm guessing she needed they needed that time to kind of bond so i'm guessing she was summoned here at 15 she like spent one year or like six months with glass and all of them then she got transported here and when I'm, I'm guessing she was probably 16 when she was transported here then she started counting the years which probably she counted for i'm guessing like two years where she was 18 she realized that it's no like no use if i count i'm stuck here and she stopped counting that's why she said my age is 18. that would mean after that the amount of time that she spent i'm guessing it'll probably it's like probably two or three more years she spent here she didn't count that that would mean she is actually like 21 or something like that at this moment her age correct me if i'm wrong I'm, I'm just calculating it like this maybe i'm wrong but if i think about it in that way 
she's supposed to be probably 20 or 21. As she says, like she stopped counting and that would mean that 18 years is her age up until where she counted. So I don't know. So she, she's not even 18, she's probably 20 or 21, something like that. Or I might be wrong, let, let me know. Um, no need to spoil me, but you know. Okay. Um, she says like I've spent my time actually like you know trying to find a way out of here and uh, yeah now what the one thing that we should realize here is like you know that like an abandoned place like this it like, you know, puts a huge amount of stress you know like being alone like this so just like you know now Laftalia kind of says like it's crazy how she has been alone up until this time and uh, we still don't have Philo and that's also like a concerning situation okay the next day they are out and here Kizuna talks about how you know she tried to find a way out of here she thought about going on a boat she thought about like you know like you know something else and like you know some probably like you know search the forest search the other places no place to get out of here and there was a time when she said like I even considered killing myself which is crazy you know that scene where she's She's in front of her, like a rope and then she's like no like you know, I, I decided that since I have so much time instead of like you know like trying to kill myself let me try and spend my time trying to get out of here you know and she you know she, she got enough resolve and continued live like you know, continued living and surviving here okay now <clears throat> She takes us to like a weird pyramid. Like, you know, there's like there, there's like like some Egyptian like you know like en engravings on the wall, you know. And then like you know these are like different parts of this whole thing to a church where there's like like boarded. It's boarded, and uh, there's like a hole. Now from is like, is this the way to get out? And she's like, yeah, probably, but there's nothing beyond this. You can go try it out they go to try to go there it's, it's like an invisible wall you know video games i remember <laughs> in video games like you know, kind of running into an invisible wall and seeing that there's nothing outside like that's the end of the world basically that so this is basically like a like, like a little world mate you know like a like a video game world mate where there's like a boundary where you, you cannot go from there onwards it's all blank so yeah, this is a bug. That means this, this, and now for me comes to a conclusion that this is actually the edge of the world. You know, this is like a bug. This whole place got broken down. That was the like you know like the mistake. That was the bug. You know, and we can actually see that there's like an empty space, but we cannot go there. So now for me is like, all right. So if we cannot find a way to get out of here. Let's just completely like, you know, destroy this place, make this place as bugged as possible so that something happens and we can get out or do something out of this. So, which was an interesting plan because, you know, like if you cannot get out through the normal way, you know, um, you, you, you just have to try like, you know, use this, I guess. I remember like, you know, in video games when there's like those weird bugs where you're running, you know, or like, you know, driving, suddenly you fall through the earth. You know, you keep falling down, you know, and for a, like, you know, for a few moments you fall, then you suddenly get teleported into some place else. You know, that's like the part of the bug, you know, and, and there's a lot of variety to this bug as well. I remember there was another bug where you kind of go underneath and you are stuck underneath and you're like walking around and you're seeing like, you know, on the top of the, like, you know, like on, on, on uh, high up in the sky, you're actually underground and you can see everything that's happening on top. That was another, like, you know, bug, like another variety to that bug. So that's basically what Naofumi tried to do here. She's like, we have no way to get out. Let's just force through the bug and get out of this place. Which is kind of intelligent, you know, in this, like, you know, at this point. Um, okay, interesting thing here. There was like a caution thing that was going, uh, like that was showing. Um, it was written, forbidden action. The four cardinal heroes cannot travel to another world. Exception handling failed. I guess this exception handling failed means like the exception was now for me because he was given the uh, like you know the what do you call it the uh, permission yeah the permission to go to this world but I guess that's also not working over here 
Okay. Um, now, <clears throat> Nafum brings out a like you know, like bile seed or whatever it was called, and uh, like you know, told uh, Izuna to strengthen it. You know, kind of. She does. She does that, and he throws it. It starts sprouting, destroying the whole church. And that's how he's like, I'm going to destroy this whole church and get out of this place. And that was his plan. It works pretty well, I have to say. And the church gets destroyed, the white part starts coming in. And uh, now for me, Raftalia, uh, like, you know, Risha, they're all together. Now for me, gives his hand to, you know, uh, Kizuna. I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting his, her name sometimes. Um, Kizuna. And at first Kizuna was hesitating because she doesn't know what's going to happen, where they're going even. But in the end, when she sees that Nafumi is falling and then but that's she's still trying like and you know, holding on and waiting for Kizuna and calling Kizuna like come. So that's when she decides to trust him and jumps and grabs into Nafumi using her uh, fishing pole. And yeah, we are back to that world and Kizuna is like, oh, this is my world. This is the world where I've been summoned. And she's so happy. Now, one thing I'm thinking about here is the, the big question here. Okay, big question here is, is the level back? No, I'm realizing it now that it's not back. You know why? Because Raftali is still small. I realized it. I was just, when this ended, I was just saying, you know, like, did they get the level back or something? No, they did not. Raftali is still small. So yeah, they did not get the level back. That sucks. So yeah, this is a problem. So basically Nafumi will have to they can level up manually as long as he's in this world because Kyo did something probably which strips him off of his levels. So Yeah, and then and obviously they're like all happy like Obviously, Kizuna is very happy because she's finally outside. She can probably meet Glass again. And um, yeah, like, you know, she just hugs everyone, starts crying. And uh, she's like, I'm finally out. I'm not alone anymore. That's where it ends. Okay, really good start to this. I'm guessing this is like a beginning of an arc. And uh, yeah, this is a really good start. And I'm, I can't wait to see what more is in this world, what difference will be and uh yeah this will be good so that's it guys thanks for watching this was my reaction to the rising of the shield hero um season two episode number seven if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of the rising of the shield hero until then goodbye and have a nice day